Hey, you're probably here because you want to know how to be saved and make sure that you go to heaven when you die. Stick around with me and watch this whole video. And this decision, watching this video, will change the rest of your life and change your eternal destiny and make sure that you go to heaven. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created all things and he created man. And what he created man for was for communion, relationship with him. But sin entered into the world and entered into man. And what that did was separate man from God. And now, generations and thousands of years later, sin is still separating man from God. Romans 3.23 says that, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means me. That means you. All men and all women have sinned and are separated from God. This means that if, if you die separated from God, that you're going to go to hell. But here's how you can know that you're going to go to heaven. And here's the good news. God sent his son, Jesus, down to the earth so that you could be saved. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son, that whoever would believe in him should not perish, but would have eternal life. And Jesus said in John 10.10 10, that he came to give us life and to give us life more abundantly. That means that Jesus came so that we could know him, live in him, have life on the earth, and have eternal life. It also says in Ephesians 2.8 that it is by grace that we're saved through faith, not of works. So let me tell you, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter what you did even earlier today. If you decide to give your life to Jesus, to give your life to God, and you declare him as Lord, then you will be saved because it is a gift from God. This is the gospel, the good news that Jesus came to give you life and set you free from your sin and now you can live for him. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So here are the three simple steps to be saved. Number one, acknowledge that you have sinned, that you are separated from God, and that you are in need of a savior to save you from your sins and bring you into eternal life. Number two, believe in your heart that Jesus came to the earth, died for you, and was raised to life. And number three, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. So if you know now that you are in need of a savior and you want to pray that prayer with me to be saved and make sure that your eternal destination is in heaven, or if you've prayed that prayer before and you've backslidden or you've turned away from God, because maybe you went to church or you were saved when you were younger, but you want to re-pray that prayer with me and rededicate your life to the Lord, go ahead, raise your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, and pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I admit that I have sinned and am in need of a Savior. I confess my sins to you today, and I ask for forgiveness. I believe in my heart Jesus died for my sins and he rose again. I confess with my mouth Jesus is Lord. I receive your forgiveness. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I am a new creation. I turn my back on sin and my old way of living. I choose to follow Christ and live my life for the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you for praying that prayer with me. Do you know what that means? That means that you are now a new creation and you are saved. And now you can know that when you die, you are going to go to heaven and be with Jesus. Praise the Lord. That's amazing. Congratulations. And so here are now some next steps for you now that you're a new creation. Number one, get plugged in to a good, solid, local church. Go to church and go to a church where they will teach you about the Word of God, about God, and about the Holy Spirit. 
where you can learn and grow in your relationship with God and get connected with other believers who are living on fire for God and will push you into the things of God and into the Lord. Number two, get a Bible, read it and pray every single day. Read your Bible every day and pray every day. This will help you to learn and grow in your knowledge of God. And this will help you to grow in relationship with him. In order to have relationship with God, you have to spend time with him and talk with him. And that's what reading the Bible and praying will do for you. And number three, start living a holy life. That means anything in your life that's sin or would separate you from God, you need to get rid of it. Whether it's a friendship, a relationship, whether it's any type of sin or anything that would push you away from God, get rid of it and start living holy, living for the Lord. I know that you can do it because now you are a new creation and you are saved. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy that you got saved, that you prayed that prayer with me. Make sure that you like this video. And if you prayed that prayer with me, comment below. I prayed that prayer. I would love to get connected with you. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more content on what it means to live a holy life and to live for God.